I wanted to thank Diane for taking the time, and uh, I appreciate you guys all coming down to uh, visit. Uh, did you just have a meeting? So we were at the Soho House, and we did a, a half-day seminar, and most of the people are in the industry, and I have to say, I, I work with most of you guys, and I, this is by far my favorite client. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. I mean, how many people can say they work with such an iconic person that really has shaped history? and the like, and uh, it's been a real honor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome here. Tony is uh, my favorite. I appreciate that. Uh, he is. I don't really like lawyers. And yeah. Anyway, so, um, so that's it. He's a very good lawyer, I must say, and he really understands everything. And we live in a very strange world, I must say. You know, we, I have, uh, I started 20, more than 50 years ago, 52, 53 years ago. I was a very young girl, and I didn't, had no idea what I was doing, and, uh, but I was very, very successful, very young. So young that I thought that I would for sure be dead by the time I was 30 and I'm now 77. So anyway, so it's a, it's a changing world, so it's interesting to, I mean, I've moved so many ways, I've sold companies, bought companies back, I'm now getting control of, of the brand again at the end of the year. So it's, um, it's a real adventure. But the one thing that I will say, whether it is you as an individual, or as a brand, or as a company, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. Because if you're true to yourself, you're free. So I think that that would be my biggest advice. And it works for a brand, and it works for a person, and it works for a company. And then, you know, you don't choose who your parents are, who your parents are, you don't choose where you're born. You don't choose what is happening to the world and to the industry. And the only thing you can do is try to navigate the best you can according to the landscape, the weather, and the circumstances. And, um, you know, in five years from now, the world will be very different than it is now. And we just have to hold on. And we have to be as honest as we possibly can. And uh, I, my n n latest discovery as an older woman, as a woman who is in entering the winter of my life, is that kindness is a currency. And it compounds just like money. And therefore, the best investment is generosity. And I, uh, one of the things that I want to do in is my old age is make ki kindness sexy. Because people have a tendency to say, oh, she's kind, like she's stupid. And that is not the case. So that's it.